It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your mid-monthly love reading. This will be for your sun and moon rising, also Venus. This is a general love reading, Pisces. It will not resonate with everyone. So do check out your moon and rising signs as well. So let's hop into this love reading. I will be doing a you versus them spread. All right, Pisces. So let's see what we got. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Pisces. Let's hop into this reading and see what we got for you guys. Messages for the sign of Pisces in love. September 15th through the 30th. Their love life September 15th through the 30th. If you guys have a quick question, I am on Instagram. Go that's fire underscore intuition. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, all my info is below. All right, Pisces. So let's hop into this love reading and let's see what we got. Pisces. So when it comes to you and how you're feeling, we have the King of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. So it looks like you guys have someone new in your life. It looks like you guys could be torn between two people. If not, it's you waiting for someone to take action and come towards you. Why is this King of Wands here? We have the Nine of Swords. So you guys could have been dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an air sign. There could have been some, um, there could have been some hurt there, okay? And we have this Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? The Death card. So you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Whoever you guys are dealing with, it's like, if you're not torn between two people, whoever you guys are dealing with, this King of Wands is not a sword. Whoever, you know, hurt you, whoever you guys were in some type of relationship with, like some type of commitment, it looks like there's going to be some new beginning here. We have the Knight of Cups with the Death card. So there's definitely going to be some type of new beginning, some type of reconciliation. Things could have ended between you guys, but it looks like you guys are coming back together. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. There's going to be some type of love offer made from someone that you guys ended things with. This person could have really hurt you in the past, but it looks like this person is wanting to open up. How you're feeling, you're kind of not sure if you want to accept the offer, nine of swords. So you guys are kind of torn. I'm not really going to say torn. You guys are just in your head because you don't know what you want to do. Because like I said, for some of you guys, you guys have someone new in your life. And then you guys have someone coming back into your life. Someone that you really wanted to be with, but they hurt you in the past. Okay? Um, and they're actually coming back. Okay? So... What you're going to do, Pisces? Yeah. Yep, yeah, it looks like you guys got to make some type of decision. Or it looks like you guys are going to accept this offer, though. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So it looks like you guys are going to accept the offer. Okay? If it is an air sign, I feel like that's who you're going to be in your head about. Okay? Now... The other person you're dealing with and how they're feeling. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Hermit. We have the Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords here? We have the King of Cups. So someone has strong feelings for you. It could be another water sign. Someone's holding back how they feel. But they do have strong feelings for you. Um, This person is in love. They really, you know, want to have some type of relationship with you. Because we have the Six of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with, they want you know victory they want to move forward i feel like in the past with this page of swords they lied to you they were holding back information they were also holding back their feelings and this person could have like you know detached himself from you went in hermit mode and they shine the light on things and this person knows that you're worth it this person knows your worth so the six of wands they want to you know bring this relationship together or they want some type of relationship with you after some type of separation yeah 
We have the chariot. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a cancer as well. But they want to move things forward after they thought about it. So you guys could have been separated for a while. Whoever this is, whatever sign it is, this person is definitely coming back. And they can't hide how they feel anymore. Someone's definitely, you know, like in love with you and they can't control how they feel or they can't hide their feelings any longer. And with the six of wands, we have the five of cups. So they're definitely coming back to reconcile and save the relationship. Okay. So again, what are you going to do, Pisces? For some of you guys, it could have been someone. I'm not going to say someone from your past. Well, it could have been. It could have been someone that you guys had children with. But if not, someone's in love with you and they want a second chance. Okay. Yeah, someone wants a second chance, Pisces. So let's look at the situation. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Emperor. We have the Ace of Wands. Ooh, all these Aces. And we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it looks like someone's going to break free. Seven of Swords. Someone's going to break free. It looks like you guys have some type of apology coming in as well. But someone can't hold back their feelings and how they feel. Ace of Swords. It looks like you guys are going to have some type of victory and moving forward. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups. You know, like I said, this was someone that hurt you. Someone that you wanted to reconcile with in the past. Or someone that you wanted to be closer to or be with. It looks like there's going to be a victory and moving forward with that person. Finally, we do have the emperor. Like I said, this could be the father of your child. Why is the emperor here? Yes, you have the emperor and the empress. So this could also be some type of marriage that ended that's coming together. Maybe you guys had some type of legal separation and someone changed their mind. We do have the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, whoever this is, this emperor and the empress, you guys either are married, you guys want to get married, or you guys have children and you guys are the, you know, the parents and you guys are starting over. We have the Ace of Wands. So it looks like there was some chemistry brought back into this situation with the Ace of Wands. Yep, we have the Six of Swords. There definitely was some type of reunion here. You guys rekindle your relationship. You guys can have two children. Um, but if not, you guys, it looks like you guys definitely have children with this person. For some of you guys. All right, if not, like I said, you guys have a lot of past life energy here. Okay, with the Seven of Swords, yeah, we have the High Priestess, so this is your energy, Pisces. This person is apologizing to you. Looks like this person is breaking free and coming back towards you. There is a lot of passion here. Okay, they're using their intuition. Like I said, whoever you guys are with, they're in love with you, and they want a second chance. So, there's apologies coming in. Page of Wands, yeah, they're going to open up some type of communication. They want some type of new beginning here. For a lot of you guys, this was a relationship that you guys were already in from your past. So, like, you guys already been with this person before. This person hurt you really bad in the past. And it's like you guys are having a second chance at this again. Okay? So, in your actions, Pisces, we have the Lover's card. We have the Strength card. We have the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, this would have been someone that you separated yourself from. With, separated yourself from. Or you cut ties to this person. Okay? And we have the tower. Yeah, you would have ended the relationship in the past. So it's like this time around in your actions, you still love this person. You still have deep feelings for this person. It could be a Gemini. Okay, there was wish fulfillment in the past. You still have strong feelings for this person now. We have the strength card, though. So it's like you kind of have some self-doubts due to the way things ended in the past. So the Queen of Swords would be you using discernment, you know, making a logical decision, keeping your head and heart balanced. Okay, um, because like I said, you really love this person, but you know how this person could be, and whoever they are, they want a second chance with you. Okay, so this person that you're dealing with and what is in their actions, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was definitely some mind games in the past. They lied, they cheated, you know, they did, they did what they did. You know about it. They put you in some type of difficult situation. The Ten of Swords here, there was a, a lot of deception and betrayal. With the Ten of Swords, we have the higher font. So you guys could have been married because we have the Queen of Pentacles. If not, you guys were in some type of long-term commitment. It could have been with a Taurus, okay? Whoever you guys are dealing with, it's like they're ready to change things around and their actions are, like I said, they want some type of second chance. Yeah, see, they want a second chance. They want to rebuild the relationship back, the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, they just want to come out of separation, Yeah, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the World card. If you guys aren't married, or if you guys weren't in some type of long-term relationship, 
Um, if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, it could be any sign though, but we have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like they want this to be some type of commitment now. Whoever you guys are dealing with, they want some type of commitment now. And I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with as well, if this wasn't someone that you had already been with in your past and this was like a recent relationship and you guys broke up, that person um, had trust issues. Someone in their past hurt them really bad and it caused problems and issues between you guys. But now they're coming out of that, okay, with the world card. They're coming out of what happened in the past and they want some type of commitment. So it looks like they're going to be more open now to the relationship. So let's see, will there be some type of reconciliation between you guys? We have the King of Pentacles, most definitely, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles here. Looks like you guys are going to accept the offer, okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups, that's your energy, Pisces. We have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Like I said, for some of you guys, you guys have already been with this person, Ten of Pentacles. You guys have already, like, had a relationship. You guys were building things. Things fell apart. Things became imbalanced. There could have just been some type of separation, but if not, you know, you guys were working on, you know, your Ten of Pentacles. You guys were there. If not working on it, or if not already there, you guys were there. And then it looks like things became upside down, and there was a separation, Nine of Pentacles. But it looks like whoever you guys were separated from, it's making the relationship stronger this time around with the Two of Cups. So it looks like if you guys reconnect this time around or when you guys reconnect, things are going to be better and stronger this time. So like I said, you know, whoever this person is, they're going to bring more balance to the relationship. They're also going to be considering your emotions and feelings. Yeah, see, they're becoming balanced now. No longer juggling if they were. So they definitely want to rekindle the relationship. Okay. And like I said, it looks like you're going to take them back for most of you guys. So let's pull some romance angels. Messages for the sign of Pisces in love. September 15th through the 30th. We have heart to heart conversations that fell out. And this flipped over. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. We have this can be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay and under that we do have worth waiting for so something in this situation is going to be worth waiting for okay so let's see what we got for you pisces we have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other and we have the devil okay so we got to deal with a capricorn but if not i feel like in the past you guys were very toxic you guys could have been petty argumentative I feel like in the past, maybe you guys couldn't hold a conversation. Maybe you guys couldn't keep a conversation, okay? And I feel like now you guys are coming out of that. You guys are detaching that energy. So coming out of your lower ego. Um, you have three of wands. Yeah, so you guys had a problem with getting a relationship off the ground in the past. It struggled. You guys couldn't compromise. And it looks like you guys are going to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation this time. You guys are going to see where you guys can go when it comes to the relationship. Or where you guys can go in this relationship this time around. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And we have the four of wands. So, like I said, some of you guys were married. You guys divorced. Someone wants to remarry. If not, you guys were legally separated. Someone doesn't want to separate anymore. For others of you, they just want to make the relationship stable and healthy. So, wanting to work on the relationship. We have this can be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And with that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So something was definitely destined and meant to be, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? So with the Wheel of Fortune, things are turning in your favor, or there's a reason why this per person has came back into your life here, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a reason why they're back. There's a reason why you guys are getting back together. There's a reason why things are turning in your favor with this person. It looks like there's going to be some type of new beginning with this person as well. All right, so... If you guys are dealing with another water sign, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Sun card, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So if you guys are dealing with another water sign, I do feel like this Knight of Pentacles energy is the relationship moving slow. 
okay um but i feel like they're coming out of that slow energy because we do have the sun it looks like there was some healing done it looks like they're ready for some type of new beginning it looks like there's a shift and change in their energy we have the three of pentacles whatever problems and issues you guys had it looks like you guys are willing to work things out it looks like you guys are going to be happy together with the sun and the three of pentacles so you guys are definitely working out your problems the knight of pentacles is letting me know that this person that has come back into your life with their water sign um they're trying to prove to you that they're reliable dependable and responsible this time around so it looks like you guys have you either had a reconciliation you're about to have a reconciliation or you're going to take this person back and this person is going to prove themselves to you this time okay now if you guys were dealing with um a earth sign we have the nine of wands we have the four of pentacles we have the six of swords if you guys are dealing with an earth sign um it looks like that person could have been um you know kind of selfish stubborn holding on repeating patterns in the past and with the nine of wands you you know were defensive you were feeling defeated you got tired of it the six of swords it looks like they're letting go of the past letting go of certain things that happened in the past remember i told you if you guys are dealing with earth signs especially if you guys are dealing with a taurus um this person could have been kind of insecure or maybe has some trust issues it looks like they have problems in a, in a previous relationship and needed to let go of that baggage and it looks like the two of wands you know they're releasing that energy they're letting go so it looks like you guys could possibly work things out if you guys are dealing with an earth sign okay now if you guys are dealing with air signs we have the five of pentacles we have the page of pentacles we have the ace of cups if you guys are dealing with air signs it looks like there's going to be some type of new beginning in love someone really did hurt you okay um with the five of pentacles you've been feeling left out in the cold by this person the hangman is your energy pisces it looks like as you guys like finally let go and surrender this situation and completely get over it it looks like they're going to come back into your life with some type of offer and it looks like there's going to be some type of new beginning in love here once you guys let go of the past and what has happened and if you guys are dealing with fire signs we have the eight of cups we have the knight of wands we have the two of swords so if you guys are dealing with water signs either you're walking away from them or they walked away from you but whoever walked away from who it looks like they're coming back knight of wands okay we have the two of swords it looks like they made some type of decision why is this two of swords here the star yeah they want some type of renewal here they could have someone else around them and they made some type of decision they want to renew their relationship they want some type of renewal or they're hoping that you guys can renew the relationship after them walking away all right pisces so that is your love reading september 15th through the 30th all right i love you guys if you guys would like to book a personal reading all my information is below and i will talk to you guys again soon i love you pisces bye